Welcome back to the channel guys. Appreciate the positive feedback you guys provided in regards to our Ryzen 3900X system build. And in this video, I have put together some more Ryzen 3900X benchmarks and uh, tested uh, some overclocking options and interesting results. So before we get into the benchmarks uh, results, I have to point out um, most of the X5700 motherboard manufacturers has uh, released new BIOS for their motherboards. Uh, my MSI motherboard arrived um, with BIOS dated June 4th and MSI has released new BIOS on July 2nd. So please make sure you check your manufacturer's website and update your BIOS because there are definitely some improvements and fixes. Updating the X570 motherboard BIOS was straightforward using mFlash for BIOS and BIOS update completed successfully without any issue. In the first benchmark we are using Western Digital Black NVMe 512 GB SSD. It's a PCIe X3 SSD not X4 and results are still amazing with over 3000 uh, read and 2000 write score. In the second benchmark we use CPU Z um, single thread and multi thread uh, benchmark and uh, you can see the score on the screen. Uh, we also compared it against uh, Intel i9 um, 18 core CPU. Um, so comparison uh, is very close and uh, results are great. And interestingly, Threadripper 1950X uh, was able to beat uh, Ryzen 3900X, uh, which is surprising um, to be honest because I would believe uh, Ryzen 3900X will be able to beat uh, first generation uh, Threadripper 1950X, which is a 16 core 32 uh, thread CPU. And for Intel reference, uh, i9 uh, 1900K CPU was uh, no match for 3900X, and uh, Ryzen 3900X was able to beat uh, pretty much all the Intel CPUs in single thread and multi thread. For overclocking test, we used AMD's Ryzen Master application. So if you're not familiar with it, please check it out. AMD Ryzen processor is a multiplier unlocked from the factory, so uh, you can personalize performance to your taste. And AMD provides this Ryzen Master app to access this powerful feature. And even though you have um, you know, overclock in the past and you're familiar with overclocking using BIOS settings, I would highly recommend uh, Ryzen Master app. Um, Ryzen Master also um, now includes uh, dynamic local mode, uh, which is an exciting new feature, uh, you know, specifically for uh, AMD Ryzen and Threadripper processors that can um, automatically improve performance in uh, select applications. Uh, we tested the game mode uh, with auto overclocking option and uh, you have to reboot the system in order for the settings to um, take effect. Ryzen Master's game mode uh, with auto overclocking profile was able to achieve 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, that includes uh, setting all the um, you know, voltages including CPU voltage and memory timings, things like that. Uh, and, uh, to be honest, uh, this is a great overclocking um, considering there's no effort involved. Uh, so you don't have to mess with any settings or um, thinking you can break your system or reset the BIOS, stuff like that. So definitely check out Ryzen Master. And if you don't like uh, the overclocking results, you can always uh, reset and go back to the default settings. In Cinebench R20, we were able to achieve better score than last time. 
it could be because of the BIOS update or XMP Profile 2 settings for the memory. In CPU Mark Benchmark, we were able to achieve 33,239 uh, score for CPU and 3,133 score for memory. In V-Ray Benchmark, we achieved 19,987 score. AMD Ryzen 9 3900X definitely redefines our expectations for mainstream desktop with the beastly 12 cores and 24 threads and represents a great value if you're looking for well-rounded performer. There's no doubt the 3900X also blurs the line between AMD's own Threadripper platform and mainstream desktop. At the end of the day, I think AMD was able to deliver on all of their promises and uh, hitting all of the performance targets uh, they needed to. Furthermore, where AMD kills, uh, I think in terms of value, and at uh, $499, 3900X really delivers in terms of offering outstanding value as compared to the competition. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.